Welcome back to MBE. Um, today I want to show you what goes into every application because every application is different. For instance, we have our 18 degree conventional heads here. We have, these are for salt water. Okay, so what happens with the salt water, this customer wants them anodized. So there's no, so, so there's no degradation from the uh, from the salt water itself. So these are anodized. These are all pre-machined. We do all the CNC porting with no seats in them, but all the CNC porting is done. The chambers are finished with no seats. The guys have put intake seats in before I could get to them. So I was a little slow. So these are all anodized. So this way the decks are anodized. Every single, the ports are, you can see why they're, you know, they're not as shiny as the one next to it. That is for fresh water. Okay. So these are for fresh water. The reason why we put a steel seat on the exhaust side is because with the boats, we like to use an Inconel exhaust valve. And you can see here, we use a 5 sixteenths to keep the weight down, not in 11 30 seconds. And an Inconel valve, a 5 sixteenths to 11 30 seconds is probably around 15 to 17 grams. So it's a significant amount. Okay, but we do run the ductile iron seat on the exhaust side because of this. Even though the copper beryllium will dissipate the heat much, much quicker, the material is too soft for a Stellite seat in a boat that's going to run, you know, over for, for long periods of time. Okay, but what we do is, so we go back to the application. Okay, it's a boat engine. All right. So it's not a drag race application. So the ramp speeds are not as aggressive on the camshaft. So you can run an endurance spring. Okay. So what we have, I want to go over all of this, everything that we do here. So we have, we have the old technology. This happens to be an inch 440 spring. This is an old, this is an old cup spring. Now we have the new technology, an inch 310. And as you can see, a major difference. The surprising part is this small one will control the valve train exponentially better than this and it will last about three times longer. So have here, so these are the things we look at. So this customer wanted, we decided to put a top lock on it, meaning that the groove is at the top of the lock. The lock itself attaches like, like so, whoops, attaches like so, okay. The difference is when we go to a top lock is the size of the lock. If we look at the difference between the two, let's put them right next to each other. I mean, look at the difference in the size of the lock. Okay, these are both titanium locks. This just happens to be coated. Okay, so, but when we do the total, we do the spring. Now, most of these are an inch 500, so most of these springs are heavier than this 133. And we throw the locks in. Whoops. Okay, we're at 150 grams, okay? Now, we come to the new, the newer technology. So you go from 150 to 129 grams. You know, it's a significant amount. You know, that adds up, okay? Even with just the retainer and the locks, it's a significant amount. Okay, because you can, as you can see, the retainer is much smaller because we run a, we run a, the, the smaller lock. So those two are 11 and a little over 11, 11.6. We go here, but every little bit helps. That doesn't look like very much, but you can go from 17 to 11. The percentage is pretty great. Okay. So here we have this. Okay. So now when this goes on here, this looks like this, okay? And we run a lash cap with this. Oh, I keep grabbing the wrong one. Da, da, da. And we will run this spring on the intake and exhaust side. The reason why we can get away with this weight on the exhaust side is because the ramp speeds on the exhaust are not as aggressive as the intake side. So here we are, that's how that looks. And then we put a lash cap on top of that. Okay, plenty of strength. Don't let it scare you. Um, the one thing we do have um, right over here behind us, we have a set that's been on a boat this spring, and this whole setup has been on has been on this boat now for two straight years. 
has not put a set of springs on it, and this is on a blown big block Ford that runs in Michigan. Um, so this thing, you know, makes a lot of power and has a lot of lift. You know, all this stuff is going to have between 800 and 900 lift, and we can run this endurance spring on that with no problem. Like I said, two years, and more than likely, we'll probably end up putting the springs right back on it. Okay. So just wanted to go over everything. Like we look at everything, we got the one piece rocker bar, 18 fasteners for the 18 degree conventional, salt water guys, anodized cylinder heads, not a big deal. We can, we can accomplish all of that. And then we have the finished fresh water set, rocker gear, and then all this fancy valve train. All of this does not cost any more. The springs you're looking at are about $200 more a set, $200 and last two to three times longer, that's kind of a no-brainer. The locks cost the same. The retainers cost the same. So the upgrade, cost-wise, is zero. It's just knowing. It's just knowing to go to the right people that'll take care of you and look out for your, for your application like it's theirs. And that's what we do here. And thank you for joining us. Have a good day. Um.